My first bite into homemade pandan waffles is something I'll never forget. Today I'll be showing you Auntie's Bun Kip, a recipe that will guarantee that your cravings are satisfied. Mama ye sekfan, mami dadi sekfan, ba me ankum. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and here at Walking Kin, I share my childhood recipes so you can reconnect with yours. For today's dessert, making it at home means you can make it to your liking so that it's crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside every time. To start, sift two cups of self-raising flour into a large bowl. If you don't have self-raising flour, substitute it with two cups of plain flour with four teaspoons of baking powder. Sift through one cup of sugar and add in one cup of milk, 500 grams of coconut cream along with two eggs. Put one teaspoon of the pandan extract in. We get this from Asian supermarkets. Mix everything together until well combined, then pour in 100 grams of dry coconut shreds and give it a stir. A full list of these ingredients can be found at wakankin.com where we share step-by-step -step instructions so you can cook this recipe at your own pace. Cover the bowl with a lid and let it rest in the fridge for a minimum of 3 hours or overnight. When ready, take it out of the fridge and give it a stir to loosen the batter. Fill a small bowl with oil and turn the waffle maker on. We like the heart shaped design because that's what you'd find being sold at Vietnamese bakeries. Use a pastry or basting brush to brush a light layer of oil onto the waffle maker's surface. Then pour about a quarter of a cup of the waffle mixture into the center. Spread it out gently until roughly three quarters full, then close the lid. Let it cook for three minutes or until the rising steam has disappeared. These days, when I'm at the shops, I can walk past the Vietnamese aunties selling their bun gap because I know I can have a fresh and full of pandan flavor at home. And there you have it, aunties homemade pandan waffles, a recipe I know I can use all the time. For a sweet treat everyone will appreciate after school or work, here are our tips for the best results. Number one, use vegetable oil. Butter will burn quickly, so stick to a neutral flavored oil with a high smoking point. Number two, make a test piece first. Every waffle maker's temperature will be different, so adjust to your machine. Number three, cook them as you eat. Bun gep is best served hot, so hold off on making any until you're ready to eat them. Pantan waffles are absolutely delicious, but when you smell it toasting in your kitchen, it's something else. There's nothing quite like a hot and fresh sweet waffle for breakfast, as a snack, or after a meal. If nostalgia and good food is what you're looking for, like and subscribe to our channel for more. To remember another sweet memory with me, I've created a playlist of my childhood desserts for you. See you in the next video!